Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your tarot reading, Aquarius, I wanted to look a little bit deeper into your reading as we recently went through a solar eclipse and on July the 4th we're going to be entering a lunar eclipse. So with this brings a lot of major changes, a lot of transformative type of energy in every single aspect of our lives not just on a global scale but on a personal level as well so we're going to be looking into that with the shells and then we will jump right into your tarot reading for this month of july 2020. all right spirits what are the messages what are the messages for aquarius sun moon rising venus for the month of july 2020 aquarius aquarius sun moon rising and venus All right, Aquarius. So what they're saying here is that there's a need for you to change a pr an approach or something that you've been doing for quite a while and it's become almost a habit and it's time to shake things up. Now what they're saying is that it, new experiences uh, or new changes are not going to come about if you keep doing um, or taking the same path. So it's almost like a feeling of getting out of your comfort zone. Uh, being a little bit more spontaneous, putting yourself more out there. Now, as you can see here, I am definitely seeing a cross. So what they're uh, sign signifying to me is that there's going to be a feeling at the end of the month of July where you're going to be at crossroads or you have to make a decision. And this could be a decision in regards to relocation, in regards to uh, a job opportunity that comes your way or some type of project that perhaps you've never done before. And there is almost this, this feeling of like panic or uncertainty of what you should do. What Spirit is telling you is, again, we go back to that of taking a different approach or being more daring, getting out of your own comfort zone, challenging yourself to new experiences is going to be the MO or the motive for the remaining of 2020 for you i do see a lot of expansion in regards to you guys starting new projects um or even putting your money in investments um so what they're saying is they are highlighting here finances for you guys but at the same time i do see uh i do see you guys getting to a situation that may come up in the month of july i want to send i want to say the last week of july the beginning of august where it has something to do with family now for some of you guys it could be like dealing with the mother or the father of your child um and having to and it could have something to do with relocation and that could be the reason why you guys are not being able to see eye to eye or perhaps can't agree on a certain uh, decision or, or basically you can't agree to disagree at in this point or at this situation because it, it could be the fact of you physically not being there so it could be relocation uh, it could be you know changing residency or moving uh, perhaps there's going to be more distance involved uh, especially for those of you guys that are not currently with your partner or this is like uh, the baby father or the baby mama type of type of energy but i think that this is this change is going to be major for you guys when it comes to your finances and when it comes to your profession so really think about it um you know it's about prioritizing and it's about communicating above everything else now for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while what they're showing me here is a person coming towards you but this is a very unique individual there's something that is going to be very, that really stands out, something about them. Um, it could be their personality. It could be that they're extremely outgoing. Uh, it could be the type of energy where they just kind of walk in a room and they get all the attention. But there's something very quirky about them. And I think that this is a type of person that perhaps you haven't really given yourself the opportunity of getting to know perhaps on a superficial level meaning the moment you see them perhaps it wouldn't be a person that you necessarily would think they were interested in you um this could speak about a, a person that is foreign 
or a person that is of a different ethnicity or a different belief system. Um, but I definitely do see uh, something very unique about them. And what Spirit is telling you is that you're pretty much pulling towards your attracting your own tribe. So keep an open mind and keep an open heart. Okay. All right. Let's get into your reading Aquarius. All right, let's see what's coming for you guys for this month of July 2020. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2020. Spirits, what are the messages? What are the messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2020? All right. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. All right, you have the Ten of Cups with the Eight of Wands. The Seven of Swords. The Four of Cups. The Tower card. The Empress, the Lovers. The Four of Swords. The Temperance. The Wheel of the Year. The karma card, yeah. So right here we can see the planets uh, that are being aligned right now and that will be influencing you for the coming month. Okay, so right at the center we have the karma card. This is a representation of Saturn, which is the devil card in the regular tarot. And what they're saying here is that be mindful of everything that we put out, especially from now all the way to like the third week of July, I want to say, uh, because anything that we may put out into the universe may come back to us. So if it's good, then positive. But if it's bad, whether it's gossip, whether it's us uh, saying something about a specific person and for some reason it gets out and then they find out, they're going to go directly to the horse's mouth, meaning you. Uh, for some type of clarification. So you don't want to get, you know, all mixed up in drama. Um, now, what they are showing me here is the Jupiter energy as well as the tower. So there is a lot of transformative energy for you guys. A lot of you guys are shedding things from the past. And I'm not talking about recent, honey. I'm talking about the past like seven or ten years. Uh, it could be a behavior it could be like an example for those of you guys that, you know, like to drink often or for those of you guys that are smokers or those of you guys that, you know, never really have been like living a very active lifestyle. It could be that you decide to make changes in that aspect where anything that has to do with addictions, if you start, like I said, now all the way to the end of July, more than likely um, the the result of you uh, actually making that a lifestyle change are very probable because we do have Saturn in the 10th house. So Saturn is all about discipline. It's all about, you know, um, being restrictive for our higher good or for our higher purpose. So I definitely do see a lot of changes in that aspect. For some of you guys, it could be even like going under surgery or thinking of doing some type of surgery to make yourself feel better or to make yourself look better. Um, like I said, major transformations that are, ha some of you guys, it could just be that you've never really committed yourself to, uh, health, health and fitness. And maybe that's something that is going to play a very important role for the coming months for you, where people are going to actually be able to see a trans a complete transformation with you. Um, now I do see here the lover's card and the karma card next to the king of cups. So for some of you guys, it could be dealing with a water energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Uh, for others of you, this could be just the person that you were very emotionally invested in uh, that's coming back around. And it could have been a third party type of situation. It could have been that the person was either they left you for another person or it could have been that um, you were moving on because you were tired of putting up with nonsense and they kind of just up and left and they never really gave you an explanation or anything. Um, and it could be what the shells were talking about, a person that is, you know, uh, 
a person that is circling around you or thinking of coming back around or trying to communicate with you. Actually, no, I think I'm confusing your shell readings with uh, Scorpio. So for those of you guys that are dealing with the Scorpio, you might want to check that video out uh, because something similar came up where it's a person from your past that's coming back around. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's to actually start something new. What they're saying is that there's a lot of healing that needs to happen. And I think you guys been carrying a lot of resentment, a lot of anger towards each other. So you guys are going to be given the opportunity to mend fences or to let go of that so that you can move on uh, to a to a stronger partnership. And it's a partnership that's been long in the making. And I think the reason for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, it could be like a feeling of when am I going to find the right one? And what they're telling you is you need to find the right one within yourself, Scorpio. You need to heal what needs to, sorry, Aquarius. Um, I keep saying Scorpio. So not sure why, but like I said, if you guys are connected to a Scorpio, it, that, they could be coming up in this reading. But what they're saying is that you need to love yourself and find yourself Aquarius to be able to attract that specific partner that is going to be um, for you. And I'm talking about life partners. I'm not talking about dating. I'm not talking about something that is temporary. I'm talking about something that is long term. Now, I know a lot of the time, you know, Aquarius tend to think that you guys are not really looking for anything serious. Um, but deep down on, you know, on a psyche level, whether it's on a subconscious or conscious level, um, oftentimes you guys do have this syndrome of feeling like you guys are alone or misunderstood. And the reason for that is because, you know, we as humans do need that connection. We do need to, you know, just have someone be there and be present to see our good and our bad and our best, you know, and, and have someone to share those accomplishments with. Um, and that's definitely the vibe that I'm getting here. Now, let me see what is your final messages. What are the final messages from Spirit for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Final messages from Spirit, please. Okay, one more. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, you have balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. This is so funny because this is the exact card, I believe, that came out for Scorpio. I think you guys may be connected um, or you may actually have a child that is a Scorpio or an Aquarius. Or you may be dealing with a Scorpio or a Scorpio may be dealing with an Aquarius. Anyways, um, what they're saying here is balance, spirituality with practicality and we go back to that of it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio who did these cards come out for i can't think of it um i'm pretty sure it was scorpio but anyways balance spirituality and practicality so this is that of not going to people that are spiritual in nature only when you have difficulties that you need to overcome and you are unsure of how to deal with that or it could also represent not being grateful enough that when things are going good in your life you kind of forget about your spiritual side what they're telling you is you need to acknowledge that in your everyday life as well as when we're going through difficulties not just when um you know, when success and everything is going good for us, we often tend to forget to be humble, to be thankful, to be grateful. And it's only through those difficult and trialing times that we become closer to God or that we become closer to our faith or to our spirituality. What Spirit is telling you here is you, you're a spiritual creature by nature. Do not ignore your spirituality because you're on the pursuit of materializations or even on an emotional level when things are great it doesn't matter 
But when things are going horribly wrong, that's when you're seeking guidance or that's when spiritual, uh, your spiritual side is very important. And what they're telling you is you need to learn to balance that. Be more grateful. Be more thankful. It's time to release negativity. Stop surrounding yourself with negative people. Stop being negative, Aquarius. Stop doing that self-negative talk or even having conversations you know, with friends and relatives and family members about things that don't really give you anything. You know, sitting there and talking about people and their lives or how they're living it is, is not really doing anything for you. Start putting your focus and your energy towards positive things, towards changes, towards manifesting, towards bringing towards you the type of life that you want, the opportunities that you want. And yes, this even includes pulling away from friends that could be negative Nancys or that could bring a lot of drama in your life. You don't need that. Stay away from that. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.